All right, we're gathering new details on a deadly train versus car crash in Appling County. The crash killed a mother and grandfather and hurt three kids in Baxley yesterday. Yeah, today the children's dad who lost his wife in that crash spoke to our Chelsea McDonald. She joins us now with the story you will only see here on WJCL. Chelsea. Yeah, Kevin and Jennifer, the father is still in shock and understandably very upset. He tells us the reason his wife and kids were moving to Baxley was to be closer to him. Now he's trying to cope with this tragedy of losing his wife and father-in-law. It's a normal scene now, cars obeying the stop sign before crossing the railroad track. But officials are still investigating what caused this train versus car collision Monday, killing two adults. I seen the car come by on a record and I recognized the car and I told him I think it was my kids and, and father-in-law. It was Sean Smith's family. His two children, a six and a seven year old, were airlifted to Memorial Hospital in Savannah. His wife and father in law didn't make it. I'm kind of upset still. Uh, I never expected this. He tells me his father in law would always warn him about checking both ways to see if a train was coming. He told me I always stop at a railroad, I always look to see if there's a train coming. Never trust the train track. Georgia State Patrol is still investigating if the vehicle stopped or not, but they encourage everyone to stop, look, and listen. Freight trains don't travel at fixed times, uh, and schedules for passenger trains change. So always expect a train at each highway rail intersection. Don't, don't ever take for granted that they're not going to be there just because that's the normal routine. It takes the average freight train traveling 55 miles an hour more than a mile to stop. The weight ratio of a car to a train is proportional to that of a soda can to a car. We all know what happens to a soda can when it's hit by a car. Smith knows firsthand. I, I can't really believe this has really happened. His son, Ryan, suffers a slight concussion and daughter, Crystal, is in fair condition. Georgia State Patrol says they are expected to be released from the hospital today and we will continue to update you with any new details. Back to you.